Howdy Lab Partners, how's it going? Welcome to another Hobby Collab stream <laughs> here with me, Zach, and Megan. Yay! And I'm going to turn things over to you, Meg, real so quick fast. here because um, you're kind of leading tonight's stream uh, with something you saw on Instagram, one, yeah. of, one of our favorite uh, follows on Instagram, El Minotaurista. Yeah. Um, who probably is in a lot of your Instagram feeds. Yeah, you guys have probably seen what we're going to share tonight. <clears throat> yeah. I had saved it a while ago, and I watch it on repeat quite a bit. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Uh, so should we jump in? We can jump in. All right. Um, let's pull up the uh, El Miniaturista's post. Yeah, so this is what inspired tonight's episode. Look at how amazing this looks. <laughs> I saw this and I was like, oh, this looks totally like something I can do. This looks like something anyone could do. Um, he makes it look so easy. So what I'm interested in tonight are the sunken recesses. I've brought this up before. I want to do like that sunken glowing effect. Yeah. And I've heard from many people that it's difficult to achieve. You see this video, he makes it look so easy. It's it's amazing. Um, if you're not already following El Mini, El Mini Turista, yeah. go do that right now. Yep. It's amazing. Um, yeah. So we'll have to talk about what I did in one second. But I want to show you guys. Let's switch to this camera. This is the size. For those of you who aren't familiar with uh, it's like an avatar, right? Like yeah, it's the avatar, avatar of Cain, his weapon, and th there it is. This I, is how big yeah. that sword is. Like, these little runes on it, I, I wish our cameras were better because they're, you can kind of see, it's a little blurry, but these are minuscule. Like, this is size, I want to say like zero, zero, zero brush work happening. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is the size of the runes like the sunken runes I was working on today. And this was giving me a really hard time. Let's take a look. Um, <laughs> I did this three times today, <laughs> three times, actually today and yesterday. So my first attempt, I was kind of focused on, okay, how can we do this during a stream without airbrushing? Cause as you could tell in the video, it's very airbrush heavy. So I figured, okay, I'll start with the airbrushing of the white areas, the whitest whites. And I just like did everything. I did all the runes white and then moved on to uh, filling, filling the crevices. And, you know, no lessons were learned when Saray was here. He was like, yep, you gotta, you gotta gl uh, gloss varnish before you do stuff like this so that it trickles the right way. And I, I was like, eh, I, I didn't even think about it. Um, so I didn't do that the first time around. And then I was also just dropping in straight titanium white ink. Um, but the second, or sorry, but then I came back and added some thinner to help it flow a little more smoothly. Yeah. And it did become a little more satisfying you can <laughs> to see watch that. Yeah. You can tell, yeah. So um, that was the first thing I corrected. Then I did this. I was like, we can't airbrush on stream. So let's try dry brushing. Sometimes you can no. substitute. I yeah. It's no. not bad. You know, maybe, but then <laughs> it's not bad, but it's not El Minotaurista. <laughs> it's stuff. not good. <laughs> it is not good. I was like, this is not gonna work. And then I was like, let's glow up yellow from purple. No, Whatever this is, is just bad. Like this is yeah. just bad. Yeah. And um, I was kind of freaking out yesterday. I was in hobby hang with with some of you folks, and you might have seen me getting frustrated. I had to put it away. Cause I couldn't do it anymore. I pulled it out again today. I was like, we're starting over. I painted it green <laughs> and then I glass varnished. Um, and that helped a, a lot. Um, so this part became more satisfying. And what's nice about the gloss varnish is wiping off the top when you make a mess. Um, the size brush here I'm using is a three from Artists Opus. And yeah, I, yeah, so I have a little more of this, but, um, I did continue on with an airbrush after this to get the blue. Uh, we changed from purple glow to blue. Yeah. And, um. The purple was actually getting a little lost. Yeah. In, in the colors. I was that realizing were, that too. That are, the, the, the board is weirdly, has a lot of hidden purple. Yeah. So to speak. 
So the second time around, I actually felt pretty good. I was like, this is going much better. The blue is sort of reading as a glow. Um, it's not perfect, but it's, it's pretty close. Um, and then, yeah, I added some edge highlights, which I think still work. I think we can still keep this step. Um, just at like the hottest hots, the, the whitest whites of this glow effect. Um, but then I also started adding hots outside of the edge highlight. And I was like, I'm just going to keep trying this. I don't know if it's working, but I'm going to try to trust my fake process here. <laughs> and I did, I, you can see here how I'm like adding some white whites on the tops of the runes. Um, I do come back and correct this. You can really see here where I'm like, I, uh, where the paint was left over that room and I was like, this isn't looking good. And then I'm like, oh, I can correct this with a glaze. Like I can add blue back into the, yeah. This is one of these situations where it's like, I needed to just stop and walk away and come back and think about it. And I did that because I did this before my radiation appointment this morning. And then I came home and I was like, I gotta do this again. Yeah. So attempt three is next. <laughs> But attempt two, not too bad. Attempt two was really close, but I was getting kind of sloppy. Um, I, I was also stressed out because the stream was tonight, and mm -hmm. I was kind of rushing a little bit. So attempt three, it was limited blue areas, uh, and I didn't... I tried not to mess around with the paint too much, like yeah. the paint brushing part. Right. So the paint brushing aspect, I'm leaving today just to the sunken recesses and here I am like I'm like oh god I have to do this again um so I added some medium to the lid and this is actually the secret of having a really satisfying video to watch it's speeding it up <laughs> and yeah that's it's so much better when you speed up and then I yep I got a little, little, air, little splooge. I got <laughs> I got a little excited and had a splooge <laughs> yeah so I had to fix that um, but basically what I've prepared for us today is this part. Um, so it's a little better. The first one that I have done, it's not my finest work. Yeah. But it's terrain. So like, I was thinking this is the perfect thing to practice on because it's terrain and if you mess it up, no one's really going to see it. Right. They're going to see it from far away. <laughs> right. So we're going to practice. <laughs> Yeah, now these roots. a couple of you mentioned this this board. This some of this looks familiar. Yeah. it is true. Um, Brett and I worked on this terrain a mini lifetime ago over on Hobby Titans, um, and I, you know, this is a, pro a process Meg wanted to do, and I thought honestly these would be kind of perfect for it. Um, I this board in general needs a little bit of work. For those of you who remember those big three D printed um, huts that Brett and I painted. I actually want to go back and redo those as well. I really like the way this kind of gray on this ruin turned out. So I think I probably will do that again on those. Um, and um, I think Meg's idea here to add this to it is is great. I'm excited to add add this to it. Well, that's um, nice of you to say. Well, it's what I, you know, you said, what do you have? Do you have anything we could use? Uh, because I did have a lot of, I do have a lot of a Suryani, including I have the Avatar. Yeah. And I do not. Yeah, mine has the axe, and I did. Okay. I did an Are effect on the. On I did um like a magma effect all over the axe, yeah. and I ignored the ruins, kind of. But we could do runes. the runes. Runes. The runes. Sorry, we could do the runes, uh, <clears throat> um, at some point. But, yeah. Um, the, 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 like you said, this is easy. I need to practice. I I was like, I can do the avatar sword. It looks so easy. I'll just fall. El Mini a Teresa. <laughs> I'm looking at this and I'm like, no, I'm not touching and this for a while. They're smaller. They're smaller yeah. than that too, which is crazy. Yeah. 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 So um, anyway, thank you for the inspiration. Um, we'll keep working on it. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna work on filling these rune, um, recesses today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what do I have here? Okay. So what we're working with is titanium white ink yep. from AK, and then. In the lid, I've just been tossing some because we don't we don't have oils. I think oils would have been the way to go for this. Now that I've, I'm an expert well, on oils, uh, well, um, I I toss a little thinner in the lid. Yeah, okay. And then what I've been kind of doing is filling with thinner first. Okay. So that when I drop in the white, it spreads. It fills uh, the whole thing. Oh, okay, okay. So you put some thinner in here, yeah. and then is this just the ink? That's just the ink. Okay. Great. 
actually it's the ink, but also like I had some on the lid earlier. Yeah, it smells a little like and like put it on top. So there's a little bit in there. Yeah. But um you know, you, know, you just play with it. You know, Sunday, um we painted Tao. Yeah, we did. And um on Sunday stream this, this is, is Tao. Mm, Fugs, Fugs. Fugs. I always I forget. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this became our, uh, this is what I used to sink into towel recesses yeah. to do their shoulder pad. So I actually think it works okay, um, especially with a gloss of varnish, but like the thinner is probably a good tip. Well, it you can, know. It can't make it worse, right? It doesn't hurt. And like, if you put the thinner on top of dry paint, that's easy to wipe off, right? right like right, if you, right. if it spills. And then if you just dump the ink in that... It, it'll fill the whole thing pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay, so you say anyway. so you say uh, <laughs> you like to do a little bit of of ink first. Oh no, thinner first. I I I, I was trying thinner first. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Exciting, interesting. I haven't actually So do I use a lot? Do I use a little? I I did not use a lot. Do, are you doing kind of like one rune at a time? Yeah, pretty much. Just taking it easy. Um, guys, we have a very important poll happening. Today's stream not only features glowing runes, but ruins. So that's going to be fun for us to hop back and forth between all stream. Yeah. Saying runes and ruins. Um, good night, Laura. What is it? Late over there or something? Oh, this is fun. Is it fun? Yeah. Great. Okay. Um, Zach was like, wait, I don't even know what we're doing today. And I was <laughs> like, listen, buddy, I did the hard part. You just sit back and enjoy this. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Enjoy the satisfying part. Oh. Yeah. There we go. That's a good view of it. Yeah. And folks, it's, a, it's uh, something we want to remind you guys, and a lot of you are probably already in this situation, but please do give the stream a like. And um, if, you're, if you're watching and are not subscribed, please subscribe. We promise we will not fill your Facebook feed with total garbage. <laughs> Just a little garbage. Just a little bit of garbage. Uh, and we, we think you'll like it. Um, so please do consider that. We would be super appreciative. Oh, that, that looks great. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Um, and then, yeah, again, I didn't see Alminia Teresa doing that. Um, but anyway, I uh, I start at the hottest part, and then I'm just kind of working my way out because I'm not gonna fill every rune because um, we can assume that they're not all glowing. Oh no, I'm currently filling runes that are not glowing. Well, you know, it's your terrain. Why did I do that? It's okay. Oh um, my gosh. You can have the same process as me. <laughs> just like go back and fill it in and <laughs> do it again. I'm Thank you for the hearts. Yeah, why'd you say Facebook? I said, I, what did I say about Facebook? You said that we might fill their Facebook feed with garbage. It's actually your YouTube feed that we're promising. Your Facebook to... feed is probably already garbage. It's probably full already garbage, garbage yeah. yeah. Sorry, YouTube thanks, feed. Thanks for pointing that out, Ty. But we won't, um, yeah, we definitely won't fill your Facebook feed with no, garbage. No, that won't happen. You can. Cultivate your own Facebook garbage. Uh, we will not fill your YouTube <laughs> feed with garbage. Okay, that was fairly easy to erase. Uh, big, yeah. big, big mess up there on my behalf. Yeah. So let's try this again. Um, and I've actually right. decided that with my, with my, I'm trying this thing a little bit different, not following the directions. Hearts, I love all the hearts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> not following directions. I'm so happy. Um, from you, Meg. I'm going to go ahead. I'm adding a little That's bit fine. of white into my thinner. Yeah. Because I, I, it helps me kind of see. It's going to happen. It kind of helps me see where it's where it's going. It's going to happen anyway. Yeah, right, right, right. So you're good. Um, like right now, it looks like I'm putting just the ink in it, but I'm not. Um, it's just thinner. Um, so when I'm doing this, I kind of like, like I said, starting in the middle. And then working my way out. And the ones on the outskirts, just not, don't fill them all the way. Got it, got you it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. A little late, but good. It's okay. I mean, I ruined that first one. <laughs> so, we're good. Um, I thought it was kind of, <clears throat> uh, I don't know, interesting or important to show my process here. Because I've said this a 
few times, but they can't all be winners, you know? Yeah. That's, like, part of the learning process, and... Well, that's pretty normal, right? Yeah, totally. Um, but not everybody wants to show <laughs> their mistakes. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, or, like, how they came to a conclusion or whatever. Um, I mean, I had the conclusion sitting out in front of me. It was just, watch the video, Meg. Um... I've told Zach this a million times and it drives him nuts, but the best way for me to learn, and maybe a lot of you guys are the same, is to mess up. I need to mess up. Um, and that's how I get something to stick with me in my brain. Yeah. It's, it's a learning style for sure. <laughs> it's not Zach's favorite. Zach uh, wishes I would just pay attention and learn that way, but... I mean, you've you've recited rules to me before. You know that that's not going to happen. I mean, both are both are valid. Both are <laughs> both being able to do both is important. It's true. I'm not I'm not uh, boasting at it at all. It's it's really a detriment to myself that I don't know how to learn by just reading. Some people are better at that. Reading, watching. I need to do it, and I need to do it wrong a couple times. You know, I will say, and I'm expecting this, this is a hot take coming incoming Ooh. here, but I will say that I feel like your way of learning is the way that everybody else is going to Maybe. say that's how they do it. It's yeah. sort of like, it's sort of like when people are like, um, <clears throat> people brag about no remembering faces, but not names. And it's like, yeah, everybody can is do that. Is that a brag? Or I, just I feel a like, statement? I, I feel like people will be like, they won't remember someone's name and to, to count to, cause they feel a little bad. The big, sorry, you know, I'm really good with faces. Uh, I don't remember names. <clears throat> um, and I think that that's... That seems kind of common. That's very common. Yeah. Uh, and then I kind of wonder, like, what what's the alternative? Like, you just, you just, you're just, like, driving your car at work, and you're like, Jessica, who <laughs> is that? Who is who Jessica? Is Je I know this name. It's like a philosophical yeah, question Yeah, it's like, I know point. the name, but I can't picture Jessica. I just don't remember I don't remember how to search Jessica Jessica <laughs> sorry yeah yeah so um this is okay now I'm doing some of these bigger ones here yeah how are those going I actually haven't done any of those yet I was like I'm gonna save those for the stream and we'll deal with it they're, when we come they're kind to of it. easier they're almost easy like not yeah. to fill the whole way but other than that I think they're actually fairly simple yeah um I was watching the video and <clears throat> he does like one tiny brush stroke and it fills the whole thing. And I was like, why isn't that happening with me? And it's like, oh, because they're bigger. <laughs> you just need more. Ours are much bigger. And yeah. I don't want to load up a size three brush. Well, I'm going to, um, I, I think going over it a couple of times is helpful. Yeah, definitely. You definitely get, get a little bit of gains back on it. Um, you not get back on gains. it, but, Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we've got a few ads, uh, and we want to remind oh, yeah. peeps that we are getting closer to being able to have real we're super so chats. We're so close, which guys. Which we are we're excited so, for. so, so close. Um, um, but in the meantime, we're happy to do it this way. Yes. Um, Polychromes is just up here, almost out of reach. He just uh, was signing off, but wanted to say that he forgives us <laughs> for not allowing him to win the Tau Army. Yeah, sorry. Um, well, I mean, you could have. You just chose not to. It's true. Um, we the the winner was uh, member Fugs, mm -hmm, Fugs mm -hmm, or Fugs. Mm -hmm. We never know how to say it. But um, I have such a bad memory. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I remember our faces, not names. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Such a boast. Nice boast, Zach. Yeah. Um, and uh, we are really excited. We actually uh, will be sending Fugs uh, Polly's out um, either tomorrow or Friday. Um, it is 100% completed as yeah. of last night. Um, we had a lot of it finished within a few days, but um, then we had some dreadnought work to do, and um, it took me a little bit to, to wrap that up. Which was fine, because Polly asked us to hold on to it for a little while. Yeah. So that worked out. The the tower, I mean, meanwhile, has very little left to complete, um, so we should be getting that out pretty soon. Probably this weekend we can send them both out? Yeah, maybe. 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 You know, things come up. Things, things come <laughs> That's up. That's why we baked in that six to eight weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's really just to help us <laughs> make sure everything looks good before it goes out to you. Definitely. Before uh, you want to strip it. We want to make sure you <laughs> yeah. at least get it to, 
you know, tabletop yeah, I'm, standards I'm, first. I'm curious. Um, I don't know. Does Fugs already have Tau or um, how does that work? I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of curious. Yeah. I'm sure we're here from him. Laura I'm Brand sure. just says, "Hope you have a fun streams. Looks like it'll be a really rewarding project." And love the rainbows, Meg. We'll catch up tomorrow. Yay. Nice to hear, Captain Mannerings. Top tips for amazing looking rainbow gradients, please. Oh man, top tips. Have I done? I've done the raptodons. Well, uh, prime white <laughs> is my first tip. Uh, I yeah, mean, yeah. priming black is fine. It depends on what look you're going for. Can, but can, can we talk white about? Can we talk about? Sorry, the better sorry to interrupt you, no, Meg. You're good. Can, can we talk about a good reason why you want to prime white? Because um, it's reflective. Well, in particular, um, I think when you paint rainbow, the the issue is. Um, that colors behave differently. Yes, they and, do. And the huge problem, child, in a rainbow is, all, is orange, I find. Oh, yeah. Uh, almost always. Um, certainly when I was doing the rainbow feathers on the griffin we did last week. Um, and just in general, orange is, orange is weird. For me, yellow, most yellows go over black primer better than oranges do. Um, or, oh, I don't sure. know. If, I don't know if you noticed this. Um, red and yellow both go over better, and that doesn't even make sense since orange is supposed well, to be a mix. I think so. I mean, yeah, yellow to me is the hardest because it's the least vibrant. It's like the highest value, so it takes a lot of coverage to make sure you see it. I mean, you can tell with my lipstick; like, it just looks like I'm missing a piece of color where the yellow is. Like, it's just hard to see. Um, Look towards the camera. It's just hardest to see. No, it no no. Yellow? Yes, it is. No, yeah, I don't think that's what's going on. I think the yellow, if anything, is the thanks most for the hearts. Closely matching your skin. I think the color that just doesn't show up is orange. No, I can see it. It's like it's right there. This side. It's right there. It's right between oh, the pink. Like, yeah. It's just, what happens is it starts to blend in with the red. That That's, I think, what you run into is, like, the colors turn into each other. And red, even, this isn't even red, this is pink. But, like, red will eat up orange because they're so close to each other in both hue and value, usually. Okay. kind of just depends on how deep the red is. Yeah. Um, The yellow, like... I think it just disappeared. Like, you're telling me that it looks the same color as my skin. Well, no, that's no, a no. problem. It doesn't look the same. Like, if I had dark skin and it popped, that would be cool. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's like the same color as my skin, which isn't as cool. But I promised I would do a rainbow lip, so here it is. Um, anyways, tips for rainbow gradients. Priming white is, is Priming good white. I think also... Or, or just go, just like, not necessarily priming white, but... Having the rainbow go over it. If you want to do a gradient and you're not like taping off borders, um, give yourself extra overlap. Like, so if you really only want this much of your color to show, actually spread it out and you're, you're going to end up overlapping your colors because it's, it's either an airbrush or like you're glazing. Um, and so you're going to want to blend if you're doing a gradient rather than harsh lines. So give yourself some overlap when you're splitting up your your sections like you have to plan ahead for something like that and say like okay this color is going to go to here this color is going to go to here this color is going to go to here but you really have to lay down extra um the same with like what is it called um like doing non-metal metallic or anytime you're like glazing up from one high value to a low value or whatever mm -hmm. color yeah. um that's that's what i would say okay yeah. Yeah. Anything from you? Um, Anything to add, I should say? I think, like, one of the things is that I would say that kind of goes along with Meg is, is um, plan, kind of plan out spatially your gradient because um, you're going to find that you're, you're, like, you'll suddenly be in a point, and again, I'm literally thinking specifically about orange, although, to be <laughs> fair, this could help orange. Um, you, you'll find that you're at a point where you do some red and then you do orange and then you go to do yellow and you're like, you know what? Um, the yellow's like running into almost like starting to hit the red. So you need to make sure you kind of have enough right. space to actually do the gradient or the colors are going to, um, go back one and, and start canceling out colors. Did you just do that thing where like I explained it and then you explained the same thing? 
but better? Um, There's a word for that. Well, I was not listening to you at all <laughs> because... Oh, okay, I, cool. No, I just wanted to make sure. I okay. was... That doesn't I, count then, fam. Okay. That doesn't count. I was... Um, <laughs> I was doing this, and I was thinking... They missed my reaction. I was thinking that it went, um... It, it was going good. And I was like, wow, this is going good. Yeah. And I Don't was like, you hate mm -hmm. that? Well, first it went bad, and then I was like, oh, wait. I think I can try something and make it go better. <laughs> and it worked. I was like, oh, yes. And then I was, like, in the zone for a minute. Yeah. And then um, you were talking. And... And I didn't listen yeah. to it at all. Okay. Well, it sounds like Zach agrees with everything I said then. I did say <laughs> to cover myself to go along with what Meg yep. said. Yep. <laughs> but then I just exactly said what you said. Yeah. Um, I did. <laughs> that was good. Okay. I did actually do that with my raptodons. Um, like I lost as I was going through and <laughs> thanks for the hearts. As I was going through and doing my... I think it was from orange to yellow. Um, I I covered up like half of the colors, um, so I had to go back and redo it. So yeah, that that'll happen. Oh my! It happens. What? What? Didn't an that actually happen when you're doing your raptor dance? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Jesus. <laughs> I'm joking. I, I know. I'm joking. I know you said that one. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How is this poll going? I am really excited to end this poll. We'll I mean, we, we still have time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's too early to end it. Um, but I am very excited about seeing what chat thinks about the best ruins. This is a really comprehensive list. I tried to cover all types of ruins. Yeah. There's original ruins, there's copies of ruins, there's uh like Metaphorical ruins. <laughs> Metaphor. It's like your local ruins. Your local. All kinds of ruins. Um, Cody says, I Hi, made Cody. rice last night and didn't clean the pan. <gasps> Gasp. Um, it sounds like us. The rice has now dried to the inside. If I soak it, can I dump the rice down the garbage disposal? Just throw the whole pan down the garbage disposal. <laughs> yeah. No. That's what we do. No, that is not what we do. Um, oh. I... I for me I I'm gonna say yes, but I I'll confess that um, garbage disposals are really stupid, and <laughs> no, what's re great. what's really hilarious the other day uh, not the other day but it was it was it was a few weeks back, um, I was just talking in the kitchen I think I think at least Meg was there but I think Brett and Leah might have been there too, and I was talking about how stupid garbage disposals disposals are and I was talking about how. Everything you've ever heard about a garbage disposal is wrong. And then I was like, look up any food and see if you can go get go down a garbage disposal. And the answer will no. always be no. It's always no. It's always no. And why you, the heck and, do we even have and, them? Uh, the, the one we started with was, do eggshells actually sharpen the blades? Now, I called BS on this just conceptually. I was oh, like, don't look into it. Blades don't get sharpened with by little shells? particles flying around them for like a split second. Really? That's not how a blade ever gets sharpened. And then it was You're like kind of ruining this. And then it was like not only for us. not only not only mm -hmm. does it not sharpen the blade. It's actually on the list of things you shouldn't put down a garbage disposal mm -hmm. or eggshells. And then it was like coffee grounds, what else? Everything. I try to remember not to put coffee grounds, but um No, it doesn't matter. There's no I no know, one no, no freaking person on this planet understands well, how a garbage disposal works. Nobody. I've had multiple plump they don't they don't Multiple plumbers come in and they say different things. Oh yeah, you can put lemon uh, citrus in; it's good because it, it helps clean it. And then like, no, don't it's got put that citrus northern, down. Yeah, northern London accent. It's so there, it's, there's zero consensus on how garbage disposal works. I'm gonna works. come back to this one. I did the front side. Okay. Yeah, nobody knows how garbage disposals work. I'm not joking. Uh, nobody knows how they nobody work. Nobody thinks you're joking. And and and. Some people think that... That's not up for debate. They do. But I actually don't think that that statement I just said there is even true. I don't think... Any, no. I think it's definitely not. I think if you ask somebody like a plumber, <laughs> if you start talking, you're like, Sir, Sir do you do actually you understand how this works? I think he'd be like, listen, no, nobody, nobody knows, knows how these work. 
All we know is that you... There, he's going to say, yeah, and you shouldn't put anything down it. Yeah. <laughs> that's what he's going to say. That's probably what a good plumber will say. They're going to say, listen, this is a thing that has a purpose. Which Everyone is, knows this. Why are you still putting your anything. shoes and your like old newspapers and stuff down your garbage disposal? No, he would be like, listen, don't put anything, or she. anything down this. Food, rice. Cody, no. The answer is no. You can't put rice down garbage disposal. <laughs> Look it up. Look it up. Can I put rice down garbage disposal? I mean, I still think it's fine. No, it's not. It, yeah, don't. I can but only promise you it's don't not. Don't listen to me. I'm not a professional dish, dish wa- uh, sink disposal person. <laughs> It doesn't so matter if you don't are. Don't take my advice. No, it doesn't but matter. Don't listen to the advice of a professional. I, I would just put it down the garbage. Yeah, me too. Just soak it with water. Turn it into a nice big mush. Um, <laughs> uh, Ty says, which AOS faction makes the best pasta and why? Pot. I am going to say the, uh, the Lumineth uh, because a lot of the um, Lumineth like little not sub factions but the components of their battle of their things like the venari sound very italian and they the have they have a very kind of like renaissance styling to them i believe what about skitari is that another one the skitari are 40k may, oh may AOS, have the, okay. the uh brush cleaner please? skitari pasta what am <laughs> um, i giving you brush cleaner oh thanks i mean yes <laughs> <laughs> good very good <laughs> oh my god. If you guys are wondering where the highlights reel is from the stream on Sunday, um, my trials and tribulations through this project is where it is. You're just going to have to wait. <laughs> I, this Last night I was like, I'm going to knock this out in a couple hours. This will be easy. Uh, I can do the highlight reel tomorrow. And then in the morning I'm like, okay, I'll knock this out in the morning before I go to my appointment. This will be easy. I'll do the reel after I get back. And I get back and I'm like, we're just going to have to do the reel tomorrow. <laughs> this is not happening. That's totally, it's so sad. totally great. Sorry, fam. Um, yeah, so I'm going with, I'm going with the, uh, yeah. In, yeah. in general, I think the Lumineth probably make a lot of the best food. Oh yeah. Sorry. I didn't mean to um, interrupt that question. <laughs> no, that's okay. However, yeah, like I think probably ogres are the best at barbecue. I don't know. I, I doubt ogres is that are... A- they were asking for Italian. They were asking like for pasta. pasta. I was going to say, ogres also might be good at making pasta, but I don't think so. How, do, how can they be good at anything? They just, like, eat. They just eat. Like, bodies, right? Like, yeah, I don't they even don't, think they're good cooks. Can they season? Like, do they even care? I don't think they care. If you can eat something like that, you probably aren't a good cook because your standards are so low. Yeah. That's my opinion on ogres, but who else would make good pasta? That was two. Was was the question for three? I'm just so used to giving threes. It was just, it was just one. It Great. It was just the best possible. You did it. Yeah. Thanks, Zach. No problem. Um, <laughs> Elijah says, I mean, what? even when you got to pay for Super Chats, I'll still at you guys because I live that broke life. Cough, cough. But these train pieces look awesome, guys. Oh, Thank great. You. I'm so Elijah. glad. Yeah, we're glad to hear. <laughs> these have been stressing me out. Um, yeah, I think they're going to look great. I, I I finished my first one, kind of. <laughs> What's important is that I put it down and I walked away. <laughs> yeah. I took a break. Um, because this was, like, the closest I came, I think, to, like, rage crying. Because I was oh, like, this yeah. isn't working. This is not doing what I want. Yeah. Yeah. I had to... You had to... Um, Work on that? Message El Matrista. Well... I, he did respond. He's like, oh, that's cool. I'm glad. And I was like, yeah, I hope we don't butcher it. <laughs> um, I don't, I think like third attempt is fine. Um, it's no Elmania Teresa, but that's okay. Like we'll get there. <laughs> we'll keep working on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, plenty of a Suryani. Yeah. Um, plenty of, what, what other factions have, like, runes like this? Um, Necron... No, Necrons are all Don't raised. T-Suns have, like, <clears throat> yeah. hieroglyphics and stuff that are sunken in? I So, the, the sunken in thing is the thing. I'm trying Look to... Look at me. T-Suns. I'm, I'm trying to remember. Because, um, like, Necron <laughs> ones are usually raised up. Yeah. Um, what is that, a relief? I don't know. I forget. I forget all my art history words. Yeah. Uh, who else? Oh, you know what? I think I like it better when I don't put the thinner in first. Yeah, it kind of just 
it's like whatever. Like the thinner is to help you not have to paint, I think. Like it's yeah, so yeah. that you don't have you don't increase the likelihood of scribbling. Got it. Yeah. I, I find I'm still kind of scribbling a little bit anyway. Um, but yeah, it's not it's not totally necessary. Thanks for the hearts. It's not totally necessary to have um, the thinner. But it does give you that fun, satisfying thing when you like dip the paint in afterwards. And it afterwards. like just fills yeah. the whole thing, yeah. Oh, this is what this is why I'm doing this. Yeah, this is what this is all about. <laughs> Soups says the rainbow lips hey, and top are on point. Looks great. Wahoo! I might know a thing or two about painting rainbow feathers after tonight. We'll throw up a pic in the works in progress oh, soon. Oh, fun! Yeah, rainbow painting is. Uh, is that a thing? That's like a thing now. It's like it's, a trend, it's kind of. Like yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what he's talking about, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. What? Did uh, I, did no, I, miss? I, I know the thing he's, I think I know the thing he's talking What's about. What's he talking about? Tell me. Tell the, us. The thing he painted. The thing he painted. You'll see. You'll see later. Um, okay. Uh, you mean, stack are set. You, are you giving, like, spoilers for fan stuff? Is that what's happening here? Yeah. Oh. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't going to say that, but since you directly spoilers. asked if I was giving Well, it. <laughs> I wasn't sure how to answer. This is how my brain works. Okay, um, I need to know what's happening. Right. Um, Ugh, I totally screwed this up. <laughs> Get off. Oh, did you spill a little bit? Yeah, and then I, and I keep smearing it. Stop. Make it stop. Okay. Oh, no. That's okay. It's it's okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. Stax says, it's not... Hi, Stax. It's not red will eat up orange. It's seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah. Remember uh, that joke from... I do remember that joke. being a kid. And it's still here today. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Stax. Thanks, yeah. Um, more orange, more orange. Yeah. Stax also says, I'm disappointed that there is no Coliseum. Uh, techno Chillin may not be accurate spelling. I don't spelling know. Northern, or a Ziggernaut. Northern England. Oh, uh, Techno. Uh, uh, so <laughs> Coliseum. Say Northern London. Ziggernaut. And then he's saying the. Yeah, Sorry. I actually. Uh, this is the. Techno. It's the, it's the techno Aztec. Techno Chillon. It's the Aztec. Techno Chillon. Is that how you pronounce it? I mean, I'm just reading it. No, I know, but do you remember it? Do you know how to pronounce the Aztec? Nah, one? I haven't looked it up. Okay. Thanks for the hearts again. Yeah, no. Um, wanted to encompass all kinds of ruins. Yeah. You know? And no offense to the Brits, but a lot of these ones that he named are significantly more impressive than Stonehenge. Which is, let's face it, several rocks placed uh, in a heap. Yeah, it's just a big heap. I don't yeah. get what the big deal is. I've been to the I've been to the one in Washington. It's fine. Everyone's very excited about how far they moved the stones to do this, and I think that that how far did they move the stones? Do we even know? Is like, that known? Yeah, th or is um, it speculated? It's speculated, but okay. it's known that they came from like kind of far away. Somewhere but else. Also, England's just not that big in general. Yeah, that's not that impressive actually. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't even if you moved them from like London up to Scotland, it would only be kind of impressive. Yeah, just a little. It's like going from what northern California to southern, or uh, vice pr versa. pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile. Um, Meanwhile, sorry, soups. I think I meant northern England because we were talking about this. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Sorry. Uh, Doesn't but, matter. But I don't know the are, difference between any accent anyway. These other <laughs> ones are pretty impressive. Um, by comparison, no. Again, no the, offense. The ruins. Oh yeah, totally. To um, the Brits. I know I'm gonna get a lot of. It's fine. They'll just messages talking about. They'll just steal it later. <laughs> what? <laughs> Isn't that their thing? They just like steal other people's accomplishments. Oh, I don't know. I guess for a little <laughs> while. Stick them in a museum. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I didn't mean that. Some yeah. Zach's like yeah, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's too far. Making fun of Stonehenge is one thing, yeah. but. Too far. You, you don't get to make fun of the Brits like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. That's, Not on my that, watch. That's too far. Um, yep, yeah, these are all cool ruins. They are cool ruins. 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 Not ruins. Uh, Saray says, thinking of pink sleeves to D in a kind of lavender color, what should be my secondary color, not yellow or orange? I was oh. actually going to suggest yellow or orange. How about moot green? Like shark, it's a little zany, sure. Lavender and moot green. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the vibe is. Um, like if you want to keep it more chill, then pick something analogous. So something next to purple. 
So, he doesn't really need our help. Red or blue. Him. I know, he's humoring yeah. us. But, like, I think purple and blue look nice purple together. Purple and blue, yeah. Yeah. They look, it looks very royal. We did this the other day. What was it for? Purple and blue. Uh, the Griffin. Purple and blue. The the Gri Griffin. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that looks nice. Especially against, like, a nice dark black. I mean, I mean red, too, Everything just right? looks very deep. Coral. Lavender and coral. coral. Could yeah, look that really would look nice. nice. Yeah. That's be that's like more yeah. colorful, right? Yeah. Because coral's very bright. Which could I lavender's mean, very bright. Yeah. So lavender against like a dark color would look nice. Mm, like uh yeah. Yeah. Like um I would say yeah. navy. Ooh, navy. Yeah, like navy. a dark blue, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, that's my that's my final answer, Saray. Navy. Okay. Yeah, Navy but Saray, you know what? I don't even gloss varnish when I'm supposed to, so don't don't take my advice. Oh, Saray, I've been gloss varnishing and varnishing like a madman in between different steps of painting, and sometimes I gotta tell you, I don't even know if it makes sense to do it. I just do it now. I'm just gonna do it all the time. Yeah, yeah. I um I'm redoing my bases for my goblin army, and oh. I'm really excited about that. That's actually what I was spending time this morning doing, and. Um, I, I even did a varnish layer in between that a little bit, um, just to honestly, um, do it before I started putting all the grass tufts down. Um, I love when Chad starts yelling at us. To yell at both of us? Well, just, I got yelled at about the, uh, accent thing and now, uh, we'll get, we'll catch up to it. I think it skipped ahead, right? <laughs> yeah. You, you got yelled at too. Mo molecule... <laughs> <laughs> Formerly known as Michael, Cody, what are the letters we had at the end? S, C or something? Yeah. Because um, it's Cody S, C. Says, tuned in to see Zach courting the plumber demographic. <laughs> Wait, what? Because I was, I was saying how plumbers don't, no plumber even understands. Oh, how. yes. Listen, yeah. they don't. And I, I, I love plumbers. We've had, um, I even know... Multiple plumbers that I've had his name. I remember. At, I'm friends with many plumbers. In Daily City, <clears throat> in Daily City, it was Artemis. That was his name. In our first place in San Jose, his name was uh, his name was Jose, and in this current place, his name is Johan, Johannes. I know all of the plumbers' names that I've had in the apartment complexes. I like the plumbers. I'm just saying they've all told me different things about garbage disposal. Okay, has anyone ever told you, like, you can throw whatever you want down one? Have any of the plumbers you've known said that? That would be so freaking refreshing. because that. So, no, they haven't. No. Okay. No. So, it sounds like you've been told the same story, but just with different words. No. I've been told some things are okay by one and then not okay by another. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. it sounds like it's a sliding scale because most... Responsible people say nothing. You shouldn't put anything down a garbage. Why are we talking about a garbage disposal still? That's so oh, stupid. this is Michael's fault. Okay, that's so stupid. Then why yeah. does it exist? Like, okay. why are they being made? And I don't understand either. Can somebody explain this to us so we can like shoot it down later when the question comes to us? I don't understand either. It's so weird. Um, but I, I try to remember, but I don't try that hard. So, see, Sir A says... what happens when you live in an apartment. See, Sir A Meg says... Luminous um, pasta. Yeah, it's clearly ogres. That's like their whole thing. See, I don't think so. I think ogres would just ruin it. They probably wouldn't even salt it. Yeah. They wouldn't salt the water. Yeah. I bozos. I think... Um, I don't know. I, I, I agree. I think ogres probably actually don't make that good of food. No. Like, they probably could make it. But should they make it? Absolutely not. Yeah. I, I think they probably don't really Sorry, make Sorry, we good disagree food. with you wholeheartedly. Yeah, you're wrong on this wholeheartedly. one. Wholeheartedly. Um, Stax says, hi, hi, Meg. You too, Zach. Hi, Stax. Hi, Stax. Thanks for the rainbow hearts. It's um, uh, very on brand for us Bryce right now. says, pink glow. In typical uh, Bryce style, local friend of mine. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what he's talking about. That's all he said was just That's pink, pink glow. That's pink glow, yeah. He does that. He just says, like, <laughs> random things. I, mean, I know. I love Bryce. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what does that even mean? I The hot dogs, I, I, I get. That's from a skit that we both enjoy. But um, everything else, I'm like, Bryce, what are you talking about? And that's one of the things I love about Bryce. 
Yeah, I know you're serious. Uh, no, you no, said no, he Sarai, was... No, no, sorry, sorry, says. I, I was serious. I ordered lavender paints. Dang it. Navy blue or green will work. Yeah, I think it's going to be great. I think lavender is going to look awesome. I really love my... Uh, I, you know, I did a very light color on mine. I like Slaves to Darkness having, like, this kind of light... This light color um, look. Here, Meg, we'll switch to this one a little easier. Oh, okay. Now, um... Excuse me. Now, I'm so tired. yeah, I know. I, I don't know why. On. It's probably because his room is so warm. The room is. Super, it's actually not that bad. But it's not too bad. It's warmer than you know normal people would like. Now, listen, folks. Yeah. Um, we like to give quizzes around oh, here, it's and by time. we, I mean me. Yes. And I like to give quizzes to people to see to test their knowledge on things, um, and it's most exciting and fun to give quizzes to people who um, might not know, but maybe do. Maybe do. Okay, so we're going to do a maybe do quiz. Maybe do Meg no thing. What? Quiz. Is that what the quiz is called? Yeah, maybe do no. Question maybe mark. do no, Meg. What if that you like a, a, handed a test in school and it was like, maybe do no? Question mark <laughs> over the top of the test. So, um, any teachers out there, please use that for your next pop quiz. So let me explain the test today. We have um, basically three questions. And this is about Asuriani since we were painting Asuriani runes. And Meg is going to be asked three different questions, and she has to identify the correct uh, asset from the Asuriani army. So for this first one, uh, we want to know, Meg, um, which one of these three is, is four. a four. Which one of these four is a exarch? Excuse me, is a... Uh, um, uh, um, oh, my God. Why wow, what's I, wow, sounds like what you is, don't even what know. What is happening? I... Uh, is a uh, uh, aspect warrior. Wow. Aspect warrior. Yeah. Now, aspect what's an aspect? What warrior? is an aspect warrior? Let's chat about what an aspect warrior is Thanks for a for second. Thanks for the hundreds. Let's chat about what an aspect warrior is for a second. An aspect warrior is somebody that um, is skilled in is a Suryani who is skilled in one kind of style of war, and the Suryani, of course, live basically eternally, and they get in one life. And they, 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 within their life, they go through many different lives and they like, oh, I like spent some time doing this. No, not quite like a cat. Uh, cats actually <laughs> do die. Diff and don't really get good at anything <laughs> except for being a cat. The Asuriani, they go from being like good at one thing to another thing. So it's, it's a type of warrior who's like specialized in some way of combat. Okay. Okay. So they're not one of the options here, but for example, shining spears... They're are, good with their spears? They're good spears, and they ride jet bikes. Well, that's not going to come through in the name, so I won't know that. Okay. Right. Okay, so back to the quiz. Here they are. Is it A, the Cinder Stars, B, Howling Banshees, C, the Silent Rooks, or D, McChubbs? Well, first thing, I think you should read it in order, which is A, C, B, D, Okay. I don't know who good, reads. Good, I don't know who reads like this. Great feedback, but moving on. Anyway, yeah. um, I am. I feel like I've heard. How, how, I really wish it was McChubbs. Um, <laughs> Listen, it's it's come on, it's clearly. It could be McChubbs. <laughs> what would McChubbs? He'd be good at. Maybe that's the chef. Maybe that's the person who's good at cooking. Um, I feel like I've heard howling banshees, and I feel like. S Silent Rooks could be it, mm -hmm. but I can't tell if you're messing with me with like chess terms, but maybe they use chess terms. I don't know. I'm going to go with, ugh. I'm going to go with Silent Rooks and they get better at, at being quiet. They're the librarians of okay. the Asuriani it's soldiers. Not a, it's not a bad guess, but I did trick you. It is Howling okay. Banshees. I was halfway you there. should have stuck with your instincts, right? You, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Okay, now the next one is you're going to be um, identifying an Asuriani jet fighter. Some kind of flying vehicle. Okay. Oh, this is, um, don't, you don't have to show me. It's um, wind, wind runners. <laughs> okay, that's not a jet fighter. That <laughs> okay. is a bike. Okay. That's a jet bike. Uh, close up. Here we go. <laughs> Is it A, the Crimson Hunter? C. B, the Wind Eagle? <laughs> okay. C, the Solar Interceptor? Or D, the Great Big Flying Fart Machine? Oh. My, I'm eyeing up D. It just doesn't ever seem to be D. Crimson Hunter. I mean, that sounds 
reasonable. Solar interceptor also sounds really reasonable. And last time the answer was B. So I'm going to cross B off this list because I think that's not how Zach would design a three question quiz. So, ooh, I'm going to go with A, Crimson Hunter. Okay, <laughs> good guess. That's right. Yay. And that's it's, right. what is it good at? It's, it's a, blood, bloodshed. It's a so flying. It's a Crimson yeah. Hunter. Well, they usually are red. They're oh. usually like some, kind of supposed to be painted red. Wow. Well, yeah. That always drives me nuts. Yeah. When an is. army is like, you have to paint me this way. <laughs> well, I don't think people care if you don't paint it that color. Um, and I've seen some non-red Crimson Hunters that look cool and Games Workshop has had them featured and shown them. And um, But, yeah. Is it, like, acceptable to change their name to, like, Cer Cerulean no, Hunters? No. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, last one, but not least, is you're going to need to figure out a craft world. One of these is a real craft world. The other ones are not a craft world. Craft world is sort of like their sub-faction, like a high fleet for Tyranids. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here we go. Is it A, Oh. Simhan, B, <gasps> Slarnuga, D, Alara Rapa, or D, Club Renaissance? Which one of these is a group of Asuriani oh um, living together on a floating world? I know it's not Club Renaissance because I'm going to Club Renaissance this summer. No. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I mean, you. I think it's Sim Han, right? Like, you, you, yours are, your guys are Sim Han. Or That's something. right. Yeah. I'm I, like, I should know this. But then I was like, wait, is this Tao? Like, am I, is this a Tao thing? And he's throwing right. it in here? Yeah, you got two out of three. And um, I, you know, it's nice to see that you pay attention sometimes. I catch things. You catch things. Do yeah. I pay attention? I don't know if that's true. Yeah. I do glaze over but quite I've, a bit. But I've played, no, of course, <laughs> as one does when being explained. Um, Guys, sorry, go ahead. Lore. Um, <laughs> So yeah, uh, that was great. Two out of three, Meg. Uh, you're you're okay with I'm your Asuri -okay. Asuriani knowledge. Great. Yeah. Um, I just bumped into the power strip again. If if you guys were here last uh, for the last stream, I like shut everything down on accident. But I have since covered the uh, worrisome part of our power strip, and now I can bump into it anytime I want. Yep. Without hurting anything. It's good. It it's doesn't great. look great, but... Um, That's okay. They can't see it. It's like an old okay. butter container. Yeah. <gasps> Whoops. How's it going over there? That's fine. I'm, uh... I was taking a break for my quiz so I could yeah. focus. And, uh... I'm gonna get back to it. Uh, yeah. I find, I'm finding that this is not so simple as just letting something fall in and no, fill real quick. No, it's actually quick. not. Um, and I'm thinking probably it has a lot to do with the size, like you mentioned, um, which is fine compared to the ones uh, he, uh, Juan was doing. Yes, Juan is his real name. El Miniaturista. Yeah. Um, but I each time I do it, I'm kind of learning some tricks. So that's that's actually nice. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Um, and I think this is going to be a big improvement on the on the terrain. Just a reminder, we're running the Super Chat special. So please don't forget to add us so we know what to talk about. Yeah, it's true. Help us help you <laughs> Megan, be entertained. Megan reached across to hit that right now. She's like, boy, this conversation like, is BS. <laughs> I was just like, Zach, hit the dang buttons. Okay, uh, speaking of, we do have a few other um, oh, great. a few other ones here. Uh, so Ray, we got through. We got through him. Bryce says... Phew. Okay, pink glow on the runes. Uh, oh. Didn't you talk about what color for the runes? We... Did we? Dude, I don't remember we, what I talked about like five minutes we, ago. Yeah, so we did try pink earlier. Or not pink. No, we um, tried purple. purple. And I was like, this, you, you barely see it. It doesn't look like glow. Like, I wasn't into it. Yeah. Um, and I, it could just be because I wasn't doing it right. But pink probably would, would have been good, too. Um, sure. Yeah. Any kind of reddish or pink would have been good, too. This board, yeah. though, um, really is, uh, like, sits in this 
part of the color wheel. Um, purple to green. Mm -hmm. uh, and the greens are all kind of like mostly turquoises. So this blue was perfect. And yeah, it actually would have been a great opportunity for a little bit of contrast, Bryce. But well, that's why I had picked the purple, because really the purple was only on the plant, or whatever the heck this thing is. Yeah. Um, but it just wasn't reading, and I think I... I mean, okay, I mean, I also did it wrong. Like, I, I shouldn't have chosen the colors I chose for it, which is fine. But I was also just like, I'm not feeling this. This yeah. is not <laughs> looking how I expected. Yeah. So, um, so Ray says, happens. to bring it back to pasta... Halflings are probably the actual best cooks, but I don't know if they all died in AOS. In 40k, Blood Angels make the best pasta. Halflings? They're space Italian. Wait, there's halflings in AOS? No, there are not um, any... Are any, you any, talking about the Hobbit? Yeah, and I don't believe that there are any more. I think they're all dead. They were <gasps> all... Or I don't know what happened That's to so them. That's so sad. Yeah. A lot of things didn't make it from fantasy over to AOS. Oh, got it. So they used to exist, I think, um, mm -hmm. in Warhammer mm -hmm. Fantasy. Mm -hmm. I don't think they were ever a full army. I think they were... Um, they kind of have them in 40k, too. Yeah. They're called Ratlings. Aw, that's cute. Yeah, they're in the Imperial Guard. And they're ab-human is what they're... They're like a... They're like a type of human that evolved on a different planet um, during one part of history. Okay. Yeah, pretty cool. Cool stuff. Um, but, uh, I don't think they have them anymore, sorry, in AOS. In fact, I can confirm that they don't. Sad. They didn't make it. Um, okay. Ty says, what's your favorite piece of GW train from the current line and favorite that's out of production? This is all you. Yeah. Um, you might not necessarily. <laughs> Let me, I'll think. Yeah, but, um, I don't, you've seen some. I've um, seen some, but I don't know what it's called. Let me try to think of some of the stuff you've worked on while you talk. Yeah, well, honestly, this will be a little tough for me because I'm not entirely sure of everything. Because I just love them all. I'm just not entirely sure of everything that's out of production. That's as, true. As I think. Um, so I do love this set a lot, I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. um, this set uh, does something really cool. Here, I'll show you um, where you can really easily make force. And by the way, I also love the new forest. Um, I, think, I think it's just called the, the Wildwood, the, the Sylvaneth oh. Wildwood. But you can really make forests very easily with these. Um, we've grown to really imagine that we need bases to make forests um, and, and that we walk into it. But you can really easily make forests with these by just doing something like this. And this is where your moss actually comes into play too because you just kind of set up like this and you put a few pieces of moss. Now, I guess I imagine to some extent, especially, no offense to 40K players, over Sigmar players, but I suppose I can imagine a situation where it's a little nebulous for tournament play, but for even like local competitive play with like friend groups and stuff, um, or even like an RTT, I think you could get away with this as a forest um, if, if both players just decide to mostly be generous. So um, I really do like this, but I think this might be, this is either out of print or no one's been able to get it for like years. Mm. Um I I got crazy lucky on this. I, um, I so somebody had a set and just wanted to know if I wanted it one time, and I said sure. So I bought a bunch of it from like two different people. This this happened twice, and then it became this thing that like nobody could find. Um, and I uh, when Brett and I did our our show on on the the Death World Forest. Um, it was, it was kind of a big deal. It was like, Hey, look, we're sorry. We're paying this stuff that nobody can ever find. Um, but I do really like these a lot They're It's a really good set. Um, so super recommend this, but, um, favorite out of print. Good question. Almost definitely would be, um, something from the old, uh, Imperial cities line that I believe went out of print around 2010, 11 or 12. A lot of my ruins are um, are that. Mm -hmm. but which one did you do here? Let me see. Ba -bum -ba -bum, I think. Feel free to clean up the first one I did if you I'm, want. I'm not sure what just happened. I I think I decided it was done because I didn't want to look at it. Okay. <laughs> and I put it over there. Um, so I uh, maybe the um, shrine of the Aquila is quite cool. Um, that set is very cool. Um, and does anybody know what it's called? Um, it has its own name, but there's like um, 
the Manufactorum and the Basilica and the Administratum. There's like four or five different kits um, that are all a little bit slightly different. They all work together. And then they released this one that was kind of like the centerpiece called the Shrine of the Aquila, which has like a big flat. It's tall. Um, and if you go back, I mean, you'll see it. Remember, I talked about Visions, the magazine Visions. But if you go back at all, you'll see um, you'll see it everywhere. You'll see it even after it's out of print. They use the Shrine of the Aquila all the time um, in the studio to take pictures. Uh, but it's very cool. It has this huge flat surface eagle with, that has a little bit of three dimensionality to it that I really like, um, and it's it's just super cool. But I I'm I'm saying this. I think that's my favorite out of print one. Let me go back to favorite in print one because I actually don't think it's these. These are super cool though. What are those? Um, there's like this big towel. I think they're towel like or no maybe they're I don't know what they are guys. Um, but you made these pillars. They're like very smooth and kind of like this. Is that, uh, was that something you made or was that, and there are like gems in it. I think it's on this board. Oh, oh, that's the Suryani. Yeah. Those aren't GW. Those are, oh. Brett and I 3D printed those and they were a pain. Okay. Never yeah. mind. Um, what else do I like? Oh, I like those Sequoia trees. 3D printed, not GW. <laughs> okay. Um, I like, what about the Wildwood? Does that count as terrain? Yeah. That counts as terrain? Yeah. That's okay. Citadel terrain. I yeah. like their trees. I yeah. think they do nice trees. Um, you also had, some, there were some weird ones that you had that you, you actually took the plastic leaves off and put like the blue. Oh, that's the earlier tree kit. Yeah. yeah I, I liked the original tree yeah. kit. They're both um, nice. They're both great. Yeah. And I also like how like the leaves, you, it's very easy to magnetize and just remove stuff to put it away. That's how I've done them. Yeah, I, I, I magnetize leaves a lot now, yeah. Um, yeah, they make good trees. Um, they're expensive. What else? What about those houses? We have, like, a, a few houses, like cottages, on our terrain board that we use, that we've been using for Sigmar. Whenever a zombie dies, I put it on the porch. Oh, yeah, those are, those are Citadel. Those okay. are old. Those are out of print. I like those. Yeah, like, those, those are those are good. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, I think um, that those are like late fantasy uh, Warhammer yeah, fantasy. Yeah, I like probably because I like the fantasy yeah. stuff. Yeah, they look like like somebody's trying to just live their life. Yeah, and the army's just coming and wreck all their yeah stuff up. Yeah, yeah, um, but I think those are nice. I like the detail that they have, and like it's train, you dry brush it, it's done. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. What um, else did you do? I'll stop there though. Oh, 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 that waterfall, right? Like you oh, made that. Oh, the Thondia. I couldn't yeah. remember if you if that was a kit or if that was something you guys had 3D printed. I, no, I was trying that's, to picture it. Yeah. Beautiful. I love that waterfall. The, it's so cool. Yeah, the stuff it looks came, so fun to paint. Yeah. Here, this, I'm gonna cut you off again. <laughs> the stuff that came out um, with the Thondia strong point is yeah. pretty cool. I love that. I love that waterfall. Yeah, a lot of the AOS train is pretty cool. Um uh, that's that's really that's that's a tough one um, to answer actually. There's th there's a lot of great stuff. The, uh, well, I like stuff that paints itself. You know, like, yeah. Um, these like this is cool looking, but look how much work this is. Like to really bring out these runes and like the different plant life and stuff. There's a lot of little things happening. Yeah. Um, but if you're painting like a tree, you can get away with doing a lot less. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or, or an old cottage, you know, it doesn't have to look brand spanking new. It can have like an old roof, you know. Um, and that just makes your life so much easier when you're trying to fill your board with terrain. Yeah. I think, um, I think a lot of Citadel terrain is very great. And I, I would even make the bold statement that, yes, it is overpriced compared to what else is out there. But I'd probably make the bold statement that it's kind of worth it. I think... Um, Terrain is, you're always going to need terrain. You're always going to need for any army you play, whatever. Uh, uh, like buying a mat and then buying like pink foam helps extend. I've always said like helps extend your Citadel terrain so that the footprint's bigger. Um, you have a little more flexibility, uh, more um, addition proofing as well. Pink foam can help with that. But I think if you drop, I know this is going to sound like a lot, but three, four hundred dollars in Citadel terrain 
and you've got a nice mat and you you do a little bit of pink foam work with it I think you're gonna be good forever right like it's in that regard I kind of like it because I think it's almost more valuable than an army in some ways in some ways. Good question, though, Ty. Um, Soup says, best way to describe what Eldar do with Aspect Warriors. Remember Groundhog Day? How Phil learns to play piano and everything else? It's like that. Yeah. I guess that's true. Like, okay. they just get really good at something. That's such a good movie. Timeless, in fact. Groundhog Day. That's a, yeah, that's Get pretty, it? Yeah. All right. Just checking. Okay. How are you doing, Meg? Oh, let's check back in with you on the... This camera? Yeah. I'm doing all right. Um, this is a good project for taking breaks today. Definitely. Yeah. Um, but now that the hard part is over and I've accepted that this is just how these are going to look, then uh, it's it's gone a lot better. I can tell you that much. Oh, okay. I think I see the one here you were working on. You know what? I am doing a lot more than... Than me. Yeah, I'm filling them in a lot more. Yeah, I'm really just trying intensely. to stay near the glow because I want it to look like, oh, the runes are lighting up. No, I kind of meant like I'm filling oh. them in more intensely. Oh, but. yeah, I mean, that's probably because of the thinner. Like, I can... Oh, I see. You mean you're coloring outside of the lines, <laughs> is what you mean. Am I? A little bit. Oh, okay. No, okay, I, I didn't mean that. I meant um, <laughs> I'm, I, I was just, like, putting more pigment in, I guess. I see. Well... That's fine. I should be... This one's like a little more subtle. This is... Maybe... Maybe today was a contacts day. I'm just teasing you. It looks fine. I, no, I'm... Sorry, I'm just saying that... Um, <laughs> what am, are you saying? Sorry. Am I supposed to be... I don't know, more subtle or... I'm just literally filling in the crevices. So I would say if you get it on the top, then wipe it off. Okay. We're not talking about the same thing. Oh, okay. That's that was okay. just the only difference I had noticed. Otherwise, yours looked fine. Oh, okay. Well, uh, uh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, yep. Everything's fine. You can just explain it to me here. <laughs> Show me. Um, so, like, here's here's one of yours mm -hmm. that you did earlier. Yeah. And then, like, here's what I'm doing up here now. So, like, it's just... Which one did I... Sorry, this one I did? No. Or? That. This. I yeah. mean... Yeah, I guess I would like I I could probably give it another coat. Okay. And then I, up I don't here. know if yeah. I'm supposed so to. Yeah, that's fine. Not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Great. Okay. As I as I smash it. Where am I going? Where am I going with this? Um. Okay. Did I touch it while it was wet? No. What? Oh. I said it. I just switched I, the camera. I thought you were like, oh no. Oh no, it's fine. I touched. What did I touch? I think I just need to give this side another coat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think because we're using thinner as our medium, um, it just it's gonna just do another coat. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually also using a little bit. I'm I'm kind of starting to do, use it with less thinner. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. I don't I don't think it needs a whole lot. Just enough for it to run. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Great. Guys, don't forget to love and subscribe if you haven't yet. That helps us out. We are dangerously close to being monetized. And um, we have you guys to thank. We're hoping to get over that hump so we can eat again. <laughs> um, um, yeah, we have, um, we have a couple cool things also in, in store when that happens. So That's we're true. we're kind of excited for it. Yeah, um, some plans are on hold until we can afford them. Well, um, a little a, that as well, but also um, even just some things we're excited to to do mm -hmm. for for that um, when it happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we're already thinking. We're already thinking growth over here. Yeah, fun, new fun stuff um, for you guys. Okay. Uh, Liberty, hi, Fuchs, hi. Oh, Fuchs. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny, Fuchs. That's pretty funny. Fuchs um, is a funny person. We can absolutely, by the way, give you... Paint with ranch? Uh, no, we can give you... Um, 
Uh, no, sorry, I was reading um, his the one down lower that he that he wrote about yeah. uh, how to paint in the, the towel in the desert <laughs> camo. Um, we we can, did that already. Yeah, we can absolutely give you our recipes, by the way, and how we did that. Yeah. If you want to add to the army, it's actually not too hard. Even I could do it. Yeah, I think it was um, uh, kind of cool to do the classic towel paint scheme. That was uh, Brett's idea. And I think I uh, it, it's definitely a trust the process situation. Um, we were talking about that a little bit on Sunday. But that ochre doesn't really look good um, or <laughs> throughout a lot of the process. And I was kind of looking at it in, at during as we were going. And I was saying a lot of times like, Hmm, I can definitely see why they GW pulled away from this color as like the main towel army. Mm, people might might have complained about it. Or well, I maybe maybe their own people complained. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, but it but it is cool at the end of the day. Because um, now it's like white and red and gray, isn't it? Yeah, the that's main the, box the main studio army now is yeah right, Meg. It, it's it's like white and red and I think exactly those I'm colors. Paying, I'm yeah. paying attention. Enough. Okay. Okay. Where are we at with our poll? Is it almost oh, time yeah. to end it? Let's end the poll, actually. <clears throat> oh, a little arbitrary. No, no heads up. No heads up. We're uh, just going to end it. We normally end it at 5.30, an hour in. We'll, we'll, we'll end it now. We'll you give guys you guys... a little extra time. Hurry, yeah, hurry, we'll do your votes. We'll give you a couple votes. minutes. Do, do a vote if you have a strong opinion on which one of Or these. not. I don't know which one for me. You know what? I'm pretty sure I know out of this list what I would pick. It's not what you might think. Okay, here we go. Um, so, yeah, Real Stonehenge won, Meg. Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. Like, of course that's the best ruin out of the four. Who wants to relive their relationship's past? That was the second. <laughs> Apparently you people. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would pick Stonehenge, too. It's like a real ruin. <laughs> um, I have never seen it. I think it'd be kind of cool to see it. Yeah. I saw the copy of it. It's not as cool, but still kind of cool. You've seen it in, like, shows. In movies. In, in, like, things. I mean, everybody has seen it. Yeah, I've seen it in Outlander. <laughs> in pictures. In picture books and stuff. Apparently it can help you travel through time. That's Stonehenge, right? In that show? I forget. Or a Stonehenge knockoff. I can't remember. Yeah, no surprise here. Stonehenge won. <laughs> um, the old Greyhound station in San Jose. I, I'm what not is surprised. that? What are you talking about with that? Oh, I mean... Have I been... Do I know what that is? I So I used to work in downtown San Jose. Yeah. It's just... There, there's like a graveyard of business <clears throat> excuse me like business fronts okay and there was a greyhound big greyhound depot it's just nothing now it's just sad oh, yeah like many many lots in san jose it was just sad and empty yeah it's kind of weird so it's like a deep cut you guys you guys have to know <laughs> um but yeah that's what happens when megan sets up a poll yeah Not all the answers make sense yeah yeah. Okay. All right. I think this guy is looking pretty. Wait. What would you pick, Zach? You didn't answer. Um. I. You hate my polls. Don't. <laughs> Let's see. Um. Maybe that bus station. Why is that? <laughs> um. You think that's better than Stonehenge? I I can't. I've never seen the. I I can't really recall what the bus station looks like. I know what Stonehenge looks like. So how do you? How is it better? How I mean, is it better if you don't know what it looks like? I mean, what am I going to do at Stonehenge? You're going to go take pictures and, like, stand in a but line so that you picture. can look at a bunch of tall rocks. There cannot be a line at Stonehenge. I think there is now. I think Stonehenge is one of these things where it's like, ugh, nobody wants to go because it's super touristy. That makes me want to go even less. Yeah, yeah, but that's not Stonehenge's fault. But I've seen pictures of Stonehenge and I, I get it. I get, I, get the, I get the thing. I get it. Okay. Well, you heard it here, folks. Zach does not like Stonehenge. No, I just don't know what I would do there. You would go and look at the Stonehenge? 
you look at the hinge. Hadrian's wall would be cool. That would be cool. Um, I guess Stonehenge would be cool. You go out. It's and, okay. You'd rather yeah. go to the Greyhound bus station. We get it. <laughs> yeah, I can. Throw, I mean, that you can actually do. I can throw rocks. I can throw rocks at things there. It's true. I think you can do things. I don't think you can throw rocks at Stonehenge. I can't do things at Stonehenge. I can just look at yeah. the Greyhound bus station. I can throw rocks. Mm -hmm. I can throw glass bottles. You can walk a little further and go to bar. Yeah, I could go to a bar. Right, I could do things. Yeah. Um, but I don't feel like I could do a lot at... Um, Those of you who have been to Stonehenge, can you tell us what you can do there? Besides just appreciate? Yeah, what a bunch of a f <laughs> old religious <laughs> nut jobs did. I mean, that's fine, but um, we don't need to go there. But, like, <laughs> it's still pretty amazing that they, like, rolled these giant rocks over and it made is, formations. It is, it is cool, yeah. That's pretty cool. I mean, unless aliens did it. That's always a theory, I mean, right? Yeah. If aliens did it, it's... It's less cool. Do you think it's well, less cool? Well, no, that's actually more cool. It's kind of more cool. Oh, right? wow. Aliens have been here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it might... It probably wasn't aliens, though. Probably You know not. what I was actually reading about? Um, lots of times to go to bed at night, I'll read about weird things on Wikipedia. And I was randomly reading about um, alien abduction stories last night. Oh. And... Scary. One of the things that has caused um, a sudden drop off in alien abduction stories is they're not real. Yeah, right. And one of the reasons that they've dropped off from people people saying that they're a thing it, they believe is the prevalence of cameras on phones because yeah. it raises the burden of evidence. No kidding. Like well, that's funny. So high, um, and there haven't really been a, like there have been very very few. And instead, the more focus has shifted to, not surprised in our country anyway, suggesting that the military is capturing a lot of evidence of them and not sharing it with us. But the actual abduction stories have stopped, right? And it's, like, really interesting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, stacks were not serious. <laughs> it's really interesting to, to see how that kind of stuff will change because of technology, right? Like, nobody's been saying they've been getting abducted by aliens because they've been, did did you... Did you use your phone? Did you get a picture? <laughs> Did you take a picture with the alien? Yeah. Um, although I guess if you're strapped to their table, you can't really get your phone out. Right. Plus, does your phone work on their spaceship? Well, yeah, I guess. But, like, <laughs> did anyone get a picture? Guys, Stonehenge is real. Uh, it's not, it's well, not, so, it's not that, an alien thing. That Stonehenge is real is not what's up for debate I'm here. just saying, like, yeah. Stacks, yeah. I'm um, sorry, Stacks. Yeah, we know. <laughs> I'm we sorry, know. everybody. Liberty Fire says, uh, Conwyn Castle in Wales was a fun castle rune. No oh. Greek runes in the poll. What about Egyptian runes? Um, yeah. Listen, Pyramids. I didn't make the poll. <laughs> um, you guys you guys really expected me to make a serious poll here. See, I think a castle, and again, no offense to Stonehenge, but I think I'd rather, if I was in the UK visiting like historical things, I think castles are a little more compelling than Stonehenge, right? Yeah, but castles are like a dime a dozen over there, right? That's fine. They're still mm. like. I'd rather see Stonehenge. I'd rather see Stonehenge and stay in a castle. I also bet it's hot out there when you go. It's at out... Stonehenge. Yeah, the weather's probably never good. Well, wait. Would it be hot? Or Isn't cold? It always like cold over there. Or rainy. It's yeah. outside. I don't know. Dreary. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up, you guys. Don't listen to me. Um, yeah. Okay. I think How are your runes going? I think these going? are going pretty good. Let's see here. This guy. Check this one out again. I feel like there's a lot of... Um, you, could always kinda, you could always do a little bit more. Oh, sure. That's, like, true <clears throat> for everything. It really is. It's sure, just, like, sure, when yeah. are you, like, okay, this is as when good you, as I you, need it to be. When are you going to call it, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, but it is very easy to erase your mistakes. That's true. Which is nice. And the gloss varnish really helps with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Holly joined us. <clears throat> Hi, Holly. Bray says, less alien abductions due to no more lead and gasoline. <laughs> I... <laughs> Again. Again. Another gem from Bryce. <laughs> no, we were, we were talking about it. I know. It's just funny. I love how Bryce just tosses it. Like, 
It's good that we're caught up because half an hour from now we'd be like, wait, what were we talking about? Right, right. What does this mean? Uh, and Stack says, sorry, I didn't mean to take you seriously. Just my parents fall for this stuff and it's oh hard for gosh. me to swallow. Don't worry about it. Yeah. yeah well, um, you're not alone. Yeah. I don't know that my parents would have... Um, believed in aliens? Believed in doing that aliens people made things. Stonehenge. Yeah. I really like... Um, what what are some movies that talk about this like alien abductions and stuff? Alien abduction movies are fun, I think. Uh, and like, well, that's, I really... that's kind of what randomly when you think about. Is I I was like thinking about that movie, The Fourth Kind. Yeah. Yeah. The with Mila Fourth jo kind, right? Mila Jovovich. It was fourth, right? The fourth yeah, kind, yeah. yeah. And they were talking about. Um, I was just I forget why I even looked it up, but it's really got bad ratings. It's and not that good. I, I kind of remember thinking it was okay. I oh, think, I was thinking I think about the was fake documentary the fake, style. Yeah. I was thinking about that. And that, I, I that don't know why. That kind of got on my nerves. I, yeah. I was kind of like, I wish they had just done this. Like, made it look like a documentary instead of having Mila Jovovich play. Like, pick one. Don't do both. But the concept, I think, is scary. Like, um, as a concept, being abducted by aliens where, like, how do you prove this? And nobody's going to believe you and they're messing with you. And like, you don't know what's real. Like that's scary. Right. So I like it as a scary movie concept. Yeah. Yeah. So Ray says, I have many pictures and selfies with aliens from his time in the Navy, but their advanced technology turned the filters on making them unrecognizable. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think that, um, this sounds like, like they live. <laughs> a they bit. live. Yeah. yeah. I think that, I'm really curious to to see how you guys know I love me a good uh, conspiracy. conspiracy theory. I I never I don't believe in them. I I'm just fascinated by uh, how the hearts. I'm just fascinated by how people interact with them, right? And I've always kind of wondered. Um, you know, I didn't even think about that. I was, I was reading about like and just like it blew my mind. I was like, oh yeah, there really haven't been any anymore, and it's I know. because of cell phones. Um, but then, you know, I was kind of wondering, like, like Saray's joking about here, like, what, no, no. Are, what are the, Saray's serious. what are the explanations, right? What, what, how, what mental gymnastics will happen to, to, you know. I'm very curious if chat can hear our cat right now meowing. Yeah, Joplin's out there. He's trying to get in. He's like, why won't you let me meowing in? Meowing like crazy. One day, one of our cats will stow away in here and chat will eat jo it up. Joplin's been in here during he was wasn't <clears> he in here one of during one of our first streams and we didn't even During notice. a stream? Yeah. I'm not sure, but I, I know he's been in here during hobby hangouts and when we were testing streams and things like that. Um but yeah, one day he'll make it in and you guys will you guys will love it. <laughs> or I mean or he'll just be quiet the whole time. He might, yeah. I mean you hear him. <laughs> he's like Please. Is that Joplin or is that? It's Joplin. I know they're meows. Come on, Zach. Um, Stack says, look up. Uh, I'm probably not going to pronounce this right. Uh, Croc de Chevalier. Yeah. It's, it makes such a great terrain piece. I'm trying. That's probably pretty good. Yeah. Which I'm guessing is a castle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We will look that up. Don't forget, Zach. I'll try not to forget, but I always forget everything. These things are best sent in a DM because, like I just mentioned, I forget everything. Not that I mean to. Yeah, after streams, we kind of... I'm kind of like, We ugh. kind of veg out for a bit, yeah. yeah. Especially this one where I had to redo it three times. <clears throat> I was like, I really want a hobby hang. Can't. I gotta focus. Okay. Are you all, are you all done with yours? Uh, I'm gonna work on this, la this other one a little bit oh, more. Oh, nice. Here. Thanks. Yeah, please. I can't look at it anymore. You can't look at it anymore? The first one I did, I'm just like, ugh. Oh. I look at it and I'm so disappointed. I'm very excited to matte varnish these and see how that ties it all together. Okay, I think this one's done. We'll see. I'll probably add another coat. I'm really excited to, um, I you know, my big hobby project now, right now, um, <clears throat> off stream, but hopefully um, we'll get a little bit of content up around is redoing um, the bases on my spider fang army in preparation for old town throwdown and nova and quite honestly probably any other competitive sigmar events i go to for the next year 
I think I'm going to be using the Spider Fang army um, because it's just a lot of fun. And in addition to that, I have a little bit more work to do on the goblins and the howdas that are on top of the giant arachnorox spiders. The spiders themselves are all done, so I'm pretty happy about that. But um, I'm redoing the base, and I'll make sure to, if you're in Hobby Hang, um, I'll show them to you. But I'll, I'll post some pictures soon, too, of what I've been up to. Um, I have ordered, this is not a, I, I, I almost don't want to, I don't know how to say how many tufts I've ordered other than um, monetarily. And that's sort of a weird thing to do. Like, it's not a flex, like how much money I spent on tufts. It's, it's more of an embarrassment. Um, but let's say <laughs> I, I've ordered a lot of tufts. Um, because I really want to just totally cover the bases. Right. So that you can't see the bottom, right? Almost can't see the bottom. It's yeah. just all tufts. And there's little spiders crawling around as well. And there's mushrooms. You'll see a little bit of the, the bottom. Yeah. Um, I redid the tan. I'm going, um, and then I was going to do goblin green, um, on the rims, but I ended up going with war ball screen. If you guys know what color that is, Citadel, it's a little bit less yellow than goblin green and a little bit more blue. But right on that, like, Kelly Green, just a little more blue than Kelly Green kind of a vibe. Um, so very excited for that. Meg, what's your big off-stream hobby project these days? I don't have one yet. You don't have one yet? No, everything I'm working on at is, the moment is, really all is for stream. the stream. Yeah. It's for the stream. I am working on stuff that oh, For you, the channel. For right? the channel, I yeah. you could say. Um, I did pull out my, <laughs> 12 years old, um, I did grab my, what was it, God of a Million Handshakes, as um, oh, yeah. Michael Cody likes to call him, um, because that's what I want to work on next. Like, when I have some breathing room, mm -hmm. that's what I would like to spend some time on, because it looks fun. I can go get it again if you want, but they saw it last stream. Yeah. Is that like a repeat? Uh, Rerun. One sec. I think I'll just, oh, you know, oh, okay. I'll just go get it. Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh. I know. It is not a uh, Citadel miniature. It is. No, it is it's a. Not. It's like a. It's like somebody made it. Uh, somebody makes Citadel miniatures too. I realize it's like a three D printed thing, right? Chaos God of High Fives. There we go. Oh, this thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I posted a link to it in Hobby Chat somewhere. Um. Here, I'll lay it down. He's pretty cool. But um, mini is it's mini monster mayhem. I forget actually what it's called. Um, but yeah, it's such a cool looking model, and I think the base is really cool too. I actually had to rebuild one of these arms. You can tell when you look up close, but from far away, this one like had totally broken off. So I had to build a new arm for it. It's all right. It's a little yeah. twisted, but I like it. Yeah, I think it's gonna look really cool. I'm excited to see what you're gonna do with it. Do you, do you have any thoughts of how you're gonna paint it? Well, I forget what I said last time, but I think I want to do green lava, green glow underneath. Good okay. thing I'm practicing. Yeah. Um, and then I haven't really thought about what color I'm going to make this guy. Michael Cody, sorry, Molecule Cody made his like very, 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 very dark. Oh, he's painted him black. too? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. Um, and uh, that might look really cool because of the glow effect on the dark. Hey, so Molecule, what do you use him as? Do you use him in 40K, or was he just a fun uh, painting project? I actually feel like he almost, um, he's, a, I guess, a little small, but I almost feel like he's kind of a compelling demon prince um, in a way. Yeah, there's a few chaos. There was a chaos model. I can't, I need to look it up again that I was like, oh, this could sub in for it. But yeah, so that's it. Yeah, um... Hey, I actually, you said the name of the, the thing, the, the, the maker of the model. Mini Monster Mayhem, yeah. I think, something like that. Well, And I apologize if I got that wrong. It it's reminded like me that. That of something I want to share with our stream, uh, um, our stream members tonight, which is that oh. I, have, I have a tip for you guys. Ooh. Yeah, I have a tip. I found maybe... The most awesome eBay shop last night. Maybe. Uh, or not last night, a few days ago, where I was finally able to get Scrag Rot. 
uh, oh, the Loon King. Um, so it's called. Okay, don't share this with anybody. We're keeping it internal. The only other person I'm going to tell is Brett. I don't know if he's here or not today. Well, he missed the boat. There's like... I'll tell Brett. How many people are watching, plus how many people are going to watch? Yeah, okay, here we go. Good luck, Brett. So it's an eBay seller called Monster underscore Mouth. Monster Mouth. Look up this eBay seller. They have so much freaking cool stuff, and their prices are like really reasonable. Um, and you can kind of see what he's doing when you when you look at his um, his store. Which is that it looks like he's buying huge lots of horribly painted stuff. So oh. everything is painted badly. And he's just selling it. And he's selling it at like price. Um, at, or like, le like it's like less. So like here's here's 10 Boing Grout bounders. Hor Actually, are they horribly painted? I don't know. Yeah, horribly painted for $35. Plus he always charges $5 shipping. Oh, that's nice. So... Um, I don't know. There's something up with this guy. Um, this channel's this this not channel. This seller is really interesting. And I you know I looked around. And I was like, oh, is he one of these people that's reselling China Cast or something like this? But a lot of these models aren't China Cast. And also um, important to note that he has a lot of old models. You mean IP stealing cast? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I any kind of, we yeah colloquially refer to it often as China Cast, but any kind of uh, re recasting. Um, which is super illegal on eBay. Um, mm -hmm. Although I'm now seeing that he's away till July. And in our Discord. <laughs> he's a, yeah, he's away till July 20th. What the heck? Oh, that's tomorrow. Okay. Have you gotten anything from this guy yet? Saying that my order was successful? No, no, no. I mean, have you received an order from this person yet? Um, no, actually I haven't. Okay. Let's take that with a grain of salt, Yeah, let's fam. make sure that... Let's make um, sure Zach gets his Let's make sure it shows up first. Before you go um, ordering. Because you know how those things go sometimes. Yeah, that's that's fair. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, he says he's away until tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe it is a big... Maybe, I live tomorrow my, you log in I, and it's I, just like totally shut down. I mean, that, ha that yeah, has I happened know. to me. Yeah, I um I've... Failed to secure a scrag rot to, to now after we'll looking see. for since the book has come out. Um, so we'll see, but anyway, yeah. um, check out the seller. I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, Michael Cody says, a molecule Cody says, I was thinking demon prints, but ended up uh, just being a project. I painted him without skin for funsies, yeah, okay. Uh, Stack says, did you guys like my Phobos Librarian in the finished hobby thing? Because I got the cloak scheme from my little brother, and oh. I think it's good. Got to show pic, pics of his kids and I. Oh, pics of his kids and I sometime. Yeah. I uh, think I, you know, we're about ready to do fan stuff. And I think I saw it today right before we went live, and I was like, I missed it. <laughs> yeah. Um, But, uh, yeah, it had, like, a cool color scheme that he said his brother pay, helped him pick out, which I thought was cool. That's fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have not seen it, but I, um, I do dip in there every other day or so. Yeah. And, um, I will check it out. Stacks. Okay. Should we do some, Oh, we have, we have some more ads. Let's do some more ads here. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. Uh, Bryce says the weird demon guy with hand wings about how, uh, how about use it as a Nightbringer for Necrons? Yeah, he does sort of look oh, like that. That's cool. Actually. Even though he's not like a skeleton robot, it would work? No, they have like, um, here. They have yeah, like Yeah, their... I was going to say, fam, we, we're going to work on getting a little overlay up that, uh, where we can feature like the, inter the internet. We can feature the internet. <laughs> no, so the, the Nightbringer is one of their, um. Oh, that is cool. They have... Sorry, you guys can't see this. You they can, know what they, they know phones. what a nightbringer. Yeah, they know. They, everybody know. knows what a nightbringer is, Meg. Well, it's okay. It's not a dig on you, um, because you don't play forty k, and I don't play Necrons or anything. But basically, um, that's cool looking. These are their gods. I kind of just want to paint that. Yeah, it's a cool model. It's an old model too. Oh, okay, it looks nice. The way they have it painted, it it looks chrome. Oh, it is chrome. Yeah. He's usually kind of painted Oof, like that. That would be a cool yeah, he's, technique he's to like, work on. Yeah, like he's like this guy right there. This is the a newer. The Void Dragon? This is the newer. Let's use um, terms here that Satan, the void people dragon. can hear. Right. 
They're, these are like the oh, their gods. Oh, that's a void dragon. That doesn't look like a dragon at all. Yeah. All right. I, I forget why he's called that exactly. It tricked me. Yeah. But Bryce, I actually think that's a good call. He does sort of look like the Nightbringer. <clears throat> um, yeah. yeah. Uh, Holly says, uh, hey, you two are amazing to hobby along with. Your stream days Aww. are the best days. Thanks, Holly. That's Holly, very, you're that's so very sweet. Nice. It's really nice of you. It's always so nice when Holly and Saray come by too. I just love yeah, having them here. It's fun, yeah. It's fun, our yeah. our marathon days are, are very they're crazy and like a little stressful, but they're always very fun because I think the people we're working with are really great. Yeah. And that includes you, Holly. Yeah, yeah. Um definitely we're very appreciative of it as well. I try to feed them. I, he tries. I try to feed them. We, um, we usu you usually succeed. Look at this! Look at this message from Walmart Pharmacy I, this or has Walgreens to be John, Pharmacy. John Can I order McCardle. Zach's package directly? This has to be John McArdle. <laughs> and, he tricked me last time with this fake Liam, and I was like, "I'm just gonna pretend this is a real Liam." Oh, and, and, then, shout out. and then Brett was like, "I was like, um, I hate to break it to right. you." Brett was like, "No, it was I really don't think good." That's, yeah. Um. So my guess is this is John McArdle, but let's pretend. Let's let's uh, let's have. Some uh, positive intent for this Walgreens pharmacy person. You know what I represent? Do I use Walg? Oh, oh, I we do you. Oh my God, guys, guys, guys! We need to tell you about do our pharmacy situation. Yeah, we should right. tell them. So first, um, as Holly actually observed the other day when she was here, we used to have a Rite Aid right next yep. to us that just randomly closed down. Random. And um, there's nothing special about Rite Aid over the other major pharmacy chains here in the U.S., um, but it was just very close. So now we have to go to this Walgreens, but this Walgreens has this really super annoying thing about it. Um, yeah, Walgreens is, is a pharmacy in the U.S., by the way, just so you guys know. It's a chain, and it's a giant corporate pharmacy chain, and it's stupid, right? Um, but... Yeah. The whole area, the whole like shopping center at this Walgreens has no internet, right? It has, it's a dead zone. There's, a dead there's zone. a few weird dead zones um, in the middle of Silicon Valley, like literally in the middle, like where it's a normal road. It's, it's like, it's like, like in, yeah. a, in a like shopping area. And the worst part about it is, Very that, strange. is that our so, um, oh, the oh, FedEx. They no, I'm, about the this FedEx. is not the worst part about it not having internet. The worst part about it not having internet. No, I know what you're going to say. Is that the the since our, we lost our Rite Aid, everybody goes to um, this Walgreens, and there's yeah. a long line all the time, and you can't even get on your phone. Yeah, so you have to stand in line. Yes, I, I am done. And it, you have to like go back, to, be teleported back to like the 1990s. Yeah, and just like think you, about. Yeah, things. you have to think about things, and think then about all the mistakes you you're made in a in pharmacy your life. line. So like all that's happening, and it's the U.S. right, so um, no, everybody's insurance is like. The whole purpose of medical insurance in the U.S., the existence of a company, is to figure out ways to never give, <laughs> to collect money monthly from you, and then, or your employer, Not and then figure happen. out how to never have to give any of it back for any reason at all. So, you, you're just in the line, and then, like, you hear somebody go up, and they're like, oh, yeah, this one wasn't covered by your insurance. And then the person and has to have, have like, an ar you have to sit there it. while they have oh, an argument. Man. And you're, like, on their side, because you're like, yeah, that sucks. I, I guess when it's my turn. Um, fortunately that has not happened to us yet, but, um, so, right. and, you, and again, again, you cannot go on your phone during any of yeah, this. You're trapped. And the aisle was stupid too. The you know aisle me. is um, all <laughs> supplements. So it's like, hey, there's not even anything tablets. interesting to look yeah, at. I'm like, I wish it. this was makeup or something. <laughs> right. It, something interesting. I, I, yeah. Any, yeah. Anything. It is Toys. first world problems. You're absolutely right, Cass. We're just whining. Uh, there's like a million other pharmacies we could choose to go to, and we just do this to ourselves. Yeah. So yeah, uh, don't don't bother with us. We're just complaining. But, the, but uh, yes, the the to answer the question. What was the question? Well, Walgreens wants to order your package directly, <laughs> and I'm I'm I, not I willing. Know I'm what honestly that means. not willing to part with it. I don't know what that any of this means, and I'm gonna move it along because All right. look, I've spent too much time talking about Walgreens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, we don't want to talk about Walgreens. But sorry, Walgreens. Yeah, sorry, Walgreens. But speaking of, um, the other thing that's really frustrating over in that area with no internet is there's a FedEx Kinko's there that we go to to do things. We're going to keep talking about this. And then this. you go there and there's no internet. And the guy's like, oh yeah, there's no internet here mm -hmm. at the FedEx Kinko's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Time for some fan stuff? I think we need to do fan stuff. Let's do it. Okay. Woohoo! This is the lion. Whoa, this looks so good. But like, 
the lion without his face showing. Yeah. Which and I'm not used to seeing. I'm used to seeing Charles dance. Yeah. And this is an armored lion. Yeah. He comes, I guess he does come with this head, this option. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense, right? This is amazing. Because it looks great. Yeah. Um, it's also not beautiful. the traditional Dark Angel's green, which I like. You're right. You're right. I, I was like, why doesn't, why am I not recognizing this? It's the colors. The co but it's really like, I keep saying regal. I guess regal it works, but um, majestic. Like the gold makes him look very majestic, I think. I love how he's cr like standing on the bones of his enemies too. Nice sword. Yeah. The sword, the eyes, that little like bobble on the shield. It's a nice triangle that like draws your attention in. It's really well done. Nice colors, everything. Just really nice to see. Yeah. Best head. <laughs> Stacks. We know this guy. Brett. This is hey, Brett. Hey, Brett. This is Brett's Malifaux. Malifaux. I yeah. remembered. Yeah. What? Um. So I. this is, I've heard you guys talk about Malifaux a lot. Um, Brett's very hyped for it. I, in my head, was like, I'm, you, I think it's been explained to me also a couple of times. Yeah. And now that I'm seeing it, I'm like, oh, I don't remember hearing that these are just like old-timey, normal-looking people and some old-timey monsters. It's honestly, like, it's a skirmish game, so very few models. And it's sort of, Meg, got a setting vibe of Arkham Horror a little bit. Yes, It's a little bit Arkham go. Horror. -y. That's what it reminds me of. It's got a little of. bit of steampunk. Um, kind of elements to it. I don't know the setting beyond that. I, I really only really know what people have described to me. Yeah. Um, so I've never played the game and I don't really know anything about the setting. But these look great. Yeah, really nice. Um, Brett, are you going to teach us how to play? Do you have enough for two players or does everyone build their own army? He definitely has enough for two players. Oh, I can okay, explain great. why. Let's go back to that for a second before we get to Broken Chef's model. Woohoo! I can explain why he has enough for two. Model, two uh, because he's playing with somebody... Um, on the other side of the country, and oh. they both painted both armies in the same terrain, and they're going to set the same board. That is so cute. And play a game. Actually, I think, believe they're playing this Saturday. I'm just like, if anybody wants to know what Brett's up to this Saturday. Oh my God, stop telling people where he is. Dangerous. Who knows what I didn't these maniacs say where are going to do? Was, but, He's probably uh, going to be in San Jose. Yeah. Um, <laughs> message me if you, if you need to. Know you, where Brett is yeah, at any time. You need to know where Brett is. Brett, no. Brett watch. Don't do that. To but um, Brett. yeah, so he definitely has. And it's also like you kind of assemble. Like I don't think there's like factions. I think okay. it's like a collection. You get whatever you want. Oh, that sounds amazing. I don't amazing. know if that's how exactly it works. I would love to have a get whatever you want army. I mean, that's how Crisis Protocol is, kind of. No, but then it's all Marvel. I'm talking about like within Warhammer. Oh, I see. Anyway, this is looking great. Broken Chef. Ooh, I like his base. Sylvaneth. Yeah. I can't get enough Sylvaneth after playing Lindsay for so long. I just, I love those models. They're so cool. I'll never build an army, but I might buy a couple of models and just paint them up. Because they're really nice. I really like these I've, tree people. I, I know. This looks really great. I actually love green and orange together. Yeah. Green, orange, Look and all tan. all those sunken recesses. Yeah. They need to be glowing. They could, just yeah. Kidding. I mean, that, that's definitely <laughs> a got, candidate. Like, glowing runes on the brain. <laughs> yeah. I think... Um, this looks amazing, Broken Chef. Yeah, and actually, I'm going to be really honest with you. Pretty. I think of everything you've painted, uh, this might be my favorite. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is, this is... Lovely. Quite great. Yeah. Super cool model. Super cool paint job. Oh, man. Okay. Lazaru had a few options for this model. And they're they're great pictures. Um, they're, it's a great looking model, I think. Um, but I really, really, really like this effect at the bottom of the miniature so i chose this picture go check the other ones out in our discord oh to see like the rest of the, the model is this a necron this is a necron spider yeah some kind of necron model yeah um and there's this really nice blood effect at the bottom i saw a cool uh larry share if, if you have like a tutorial on this that you've done i'd love to do this on stream um i've seen stuff like how to make blood like this like stringy blood um, on Reddit, you know, around, yeah. around town. And I was like saving this because I would love to do this. And it's, they use like, 
what do they use that I I, I don't know. It it's, was, it's been it's been popular right now because yeah. of Tyranids. I for, I I people I, were doing the goo on the, like yeah. The, this, yeah. It, and it's stringy, and I'm trying to remember what the effect was. I'll look it up, and it'll be like, oh yeah. But it was very obvious when I read it. I was like, oh, that makes so much sense. Yeah. Um. So nice job, Larry. I I would really like to try this one on stream. You know, it's funny something. that you say that, Meg, because I've actually been wanting to do. I was thinking about doing that a little bit to make spider webs. Um, but you know, I'm, I, I'm, there's so many like plastic built, like made webs on the, on the spider army that I, I'm like, would that look goofy to have like, I don't know, my own webbing and then also the ones they give you. So, mm. but that could be a stream idea that we could do soon. If you're in, if you want to do totally. something, cause you could do that. I could, I could do webs It'd be kind of similar. Yeah. Might be fun. Oh, Polychrome is painting these little dudes. Oh my God, this is epic, right? They're yeah. so cute. I, <laughs> I like kind of lost it when I saw yeah, them. Yeah, so this is I epic. Like, I love this. They're so teeny. <laughs> They're like, I'm like, I want to collect them all. Remember I was telling you, oh my you, you like pull back on the scale <laughs> and this is what you get. Instead of one space it's marine, so funny. it's three. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like a, a video game, right? Like... Um, these represent the army on the battlefield. Like, that's kind of how I interpret this. Well, like, there's probably yeah. like actually it's, like 20 I, or 30. It's like people the unit. It's like yeah. the unit. But I don't but actually. I, who cares? I don't yeah. care. I, I love these tiny little models. Is this, does this exist with Tyranids? No. Ah, I know. Annoying. Well, God dang it. Might, I think it probably used to. Um, the new version uh, is only going to be Horse Heresy. So it's just all Space Marines. Shocker. Yeah. Yeah. That's, oh, right. It's like them doing training or something, right? Isn't that kind of the joke? No, they're, no, no it's, of? um, that's when Brett and I talk about Oh, Tao. yeah, yeah. All, 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 okay, sorry, all, sorry, All sorry. Tau epic. Only Tau. Oh, Just my. like, they only really, that'd be awesome. They're very cute. I want to collect them all and paint them all, but I really want Tyranid. Tiny, yeah. tiny, tiny, tiny Tyranid. Well, I mean, Supes points out they have them. I know Brett has played epic, um, but I just don't know that... The the new one is won't won't have them, the new the new releases they sure. won't be part of. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. right. Yeah, it's 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 one of the games that's gone to the three D printing world. Honestly, okay. Uh, Rudy Rudy uh, has put this Rudy, little kit Rudy bash. did a pretty big it. dump of a bunch of stuff that he has been working on that are models, not um, uh, terrain because he always shares his terrain. So mm -hmm. this was cool to see. Um, and I feel like he has like some original gene stealers. I'm, I'm thinking he uses these as jackals now. Um, it's so funny. Yeah. Look at this little guy. This, this old school. I mean, this isn't even that old. This no, is this is like, this is the I have these gene stealers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I just thought it was so cute. Like a gene stealer on a bike. And I don't know, is he flipping us off? It kind of looks like that too, which is also fun. Okay, I think this might be the best one I did. Okay. I'm show one. Now, Meg, uh, are there other steps after this? Uh, probably just a matte varnish. Okay, let's let's get through fan stuff and then we'll yeah. take a look. Um, okay, this is what Supes was talking about with his rainbow stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it looks very nice. I was like, oh, how timely. Yeah, this That's is great. Supes one I'm gonna pick. Great work on the robe here. Um, and the changeling is such a cool model. Um, this guy is so, such a cool model. Just, there's not a lot to say about it, but, um, to do it, to do it like this is very nice. Great robe, um, especially without an airbrush. I love the hood as Sorry, well. Sorry, I was messing with the camera. Um, yeah, I love this one. I love the colors. They're so vibrant. Yeah. As, there you go. There's a nice example of a rainbow gradient. As a zinch should be. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, all the way up to the top. Are but this looks like, like full yeah, zinch oh. army soups? Look at the arms. There's so many arms. Yeah. I didn't you... even notice that the first time. What zinch are you doing? Look at this crazy base. All these like little alien plants. It's fun. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh do we not put the name on this Oops. One? I do... missed the name. Oh, bummer, Meg. It says Scorch on the base. And I was like, yes, named bases. Um, I also really like the little details going on here. I'm so sorry that I forgot to put the name. Um, it does help if you guys put your names on your pictures because, look, I messed something up. Blame Meg. Um, and I don't always have time. I know I'm not always going to have time to add them. So um, it does help you out to put your own name. I 
I sorry, you know, I I looked through these. I love the trash can. The, yeah, yeah, the, the barrel. The barrel is so nice. I looked through these and I saw that scorch thing there too, and I was like, oh, Meg didn't put the name. That must be the name of the person. Um, but this scorch, doesn't. Yeah. yeah, the name of the person is not Scorch. I apologize. Well, not like I the think real... this is. Um, is this the last one? Yes. One sec. It's. Um... Oh, I can Ugh, check the file crud. name. Can I check the file name? You can check the file name. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sad that I can't remember. It says Voodoo, Voodoo Fairy. Fairy. Yeah. Yes, Voodoo Fairy had a few entries. Okay. Um, but I I like the barrel here, and I liked the skull thing on the gun. This is an orc, right? I mean, yeah. it's like crazy. Of course, it's an orc. Look at all this crazy stuff this guy's wearing, and the bomb has a face. Yeah. I just love orc stuff. It's so wild, and like nothing ever looks wrong. You can do anything. Yeah. Yeah. The saw hand, the tire. Yeah, this is cool. This is great. Yeah. So, sorry about leaving the name off. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's fine. I mean, fine for me. You have to answer to Scorch. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Scorch. Um, okay, so we're pretty much done. We've got like 10 whole minutes left of this stream. <laughs> um, actually, five. We like to end on the We five. like to end a little early. We like to have fun. Um, have a beer afterwards. But um, this is Zach's. But yeah, I mean, it reads as glowing, I think. Yeah, definitely. Right? I mean, that's the goal here. Definitely. Reads as glowing and then just practicing some, a little bit of airbrushing. Like, this was actually a good project for me to practice my airbrushing a little bit because you had already painted everything on this and I was trying not to ruin that. So, ruin. you know, like paint over, whoops, I just paint over everything and the yeah, whole thing's yeah, white. Yeah. Um, and I... I, I, did, I never, I always trusted you, Meg. I knew you weren't going to mess well, up. Well, I, I don't trust myself. Thank you for the hearts, everybody. Um, I, I worry about messing with work somebody else has already done. Mm. Um, that's one of the hardest things about the marathons, honestly, is like, oh my gosh, you know, Holly painted this. I don't want to mess it up, like, and then she has to do it again. Or I think when we were prepping the Griffin, I, I got a little bit of airbrush overspray on uh, Saray's tiger base and I was like oh I'm so sorry Saray I hope I didn't ruin it and he's like it's fine we can just cover it up I'm like oh yeah we say that to fam all the time yeah so anyways this is a good assignment for practicing some airbrush practicing some recess washing um I do recommend oils for this if you're gonna try it out um try it with oil it, I think the white um is a little more vibrant El uh miniaturista said that uh he used white oil oh, okay. for his yeah but we didn't have any so i just grabbed a bunch of thinner okay and tried to get it to flow after my many yeah. mistakes yeah i think it probably of course probably been better but i do actually i mean i've used the titanium uh aka titanium white ink for stuff like the recessing before and i think it works pretty well i made the the um glowing hair like kind of random like it's almost like different parts of it are lighting up at Which different points but um i think if i were to do this again i might do like um, maybe the triangle maybe like leading up to the triangle becomes more and more glowy like because I, I was like oh this eye would look really cool if it was glowing but um that's what i you know this is cool terrain there's a lot to play around with so if you have a suriani I recommend picking up, and, and, and you want to try this effect, um, pick some of this terrain up and try it out. Well, it's, if, if it's you don't... medium for it. Yeah, if you don't have a Suryani, pick up the train. And oh, okay. Yeah, obviously, right? Yeah, I mean... Oh, oh right. Um, not if obviously, want, Meg, If you want to go take over yeah. in a Suryani yeah, world. Yeah, exactly. I think... Um, oh, do you want to show any of yours? I mean... Sorry. Yeah, but they're all kind of the same. Um, yeah, let me grab one. Here, I'll oh, get show, show one this, of the bigger ones. The big, yeah. the big guy, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Looks great. Um, yeah, Brett and I painted these probably 18 months ago at this point. So it's kind of cool to see them come back out and get added to. I actually have some plans for this board beyond. I need to do some readjustments to it. It'd be exciting again. Um, but I think, Meg, I think you're right. I think it's like a fantastic piece to practice this on. Mm -hmm. um, I yeah. was actually looking... Don't start with the... Uh... The, with the uh, avatar, uh, yeah, stick, and the avatar stick is probably <laughs> so the avatar stick is probably middle, like yeah. they're smaller. A uh, Suryani like little infantry models have that have that on them, so uh, you could definitely ruin 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 your life <laughs> trying to fix that. Hey, I think we did everything. We did. We it's 
It's like a minute early. It's it's a minute early, but we do want to remind people we have a PO yes. box. Yeah. Uh, we were excited to get some snail mail. Um, I'm excited to read it on air fil unfiltered. Yeah, That's I think I'm we, excited is about. that what we're going to do? I think so. Okay. When we get to the weird parts, we'll, we'll probably read it, realize what we're reading out loud, and then be like, never mind, we didn't say that. I don't know what these what these people are gonna do to us. Um, Great. Yeah, Elijah, I hear you. Um, yeah, it's hard to like keep going, persevering when you are yeah. like, I'm not feeling good about this, and I was like, well, I have to. Yeah, I don't have a choice. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Which was good for me, but um, yeah. Meg, we did it. Great, uh, great work getting everything together. The video was great. I think people will um, see this and say that obviously Meg is a good painter. She's not as good as El Minotaurista, though. That's okay. Nobody is I'm never including claiming that. you is claiming that. So this shows people I can still do cool glow effect and not be El Minotaurista. <laughs> um, yeah. And I think that's a win. That's what we wanted. No, I mean. The point is, like, you can improve. I mean, I improved over the last two days. So yeah. that's all it takes is some practice. On the way out here, Bryce says, can I actually mail you snails? He'll do it, too, because he... <sighs> he probably collects them. He, could, he probably could collect them. Yeah. That's like a Bryce I mean, I'm not going to say no. I hope they're not alive because I don't want to be cruel to animals, even yeah. if they are invasive. I don't... No. No. Let's just say no. If you want... Just... No. Okay, well, um, with that, with that, uh, we're going to say bye. Yeah, bye. Yeah, as we can say, uh, be kind to each other, be kind to yourselves, and always be creating. See you bye. guys. Bye.